present Alan, uh, if you're ready, uh, with Seabor from the IPFS Gateway, Alan Child. Okay. Um, right. Put on the spot. <laughs> no, I, I really didn't need another 10 minutes to, <laughs> to figure this out. Uh, cool. All right, let's go over here. Um, uh, okay, Seabor, concise of binary object representation. I've got this um, CID here uh, and it's uh, encoded with, with DAG Seabor. Um, and if I go and explore it in the Explorer, um, then I can see that there's, there's, some, there's some information in here um, and I can click through and I can see that actually the Seabor links to a DAG PD node, uh, which is, uh, which is a, I think it's just a directory with an image in it. Um, so all cool so far. Um, and, then, um, and then I went to the, uh, IPFS uh, gateway and plug that in and ah, oh no, it's not, I cannot see it on the gateway, um, unknown node type. So that's, um, that's mild, mildly frustrating. Um, but what's kind of weird is that I can, I, it, the, I, the gateway is able to traverse through that node. Like I can, I can get to that image property uh, and I get the directory and then I can look at the image. Uh, and, and so that's kind of weird that I can't see that extra, I'm missing that whole, all of this extra data that's in here, this name and this, whatever that meta thing is in the description. Um, so that's kind of annoying. Um, and so th the context of this is that um, we were sort of exploring what, uh, how, how best it might be to encode um, NFT metadata. And we thought that, you know, Seabor could be a good, um, good format. It's concise, uh, it's small. Uh, and, um, and if, you know, if we ever wanted to view any, any kind of Filecoin stuff on an IPFS gateway, it would be tricky because um, A, it doesn't, <laughs> it currently doesn't show us any of that stuff. Um, and B, because almost all of the CIDs in Filecoin are, um, are Seabor encoded. So there you go. Um, so I sent a PR and I've got my IPFS node running here and I can now, um, this, is, so this is my gateway at Logohost 8080. Um, and look, hey, when I, when I uh, do this now, it comes back to me as an application Seabor thing that I can download. This is just the raw bytes uh, of, the, of the node. Um, so that's kind of fun if you like uh, like to just in, interpret Seabor, um, but you can also add a enc equals JSON uh, parameter here, and it will actually show me the, it will do that conversion for me. And, and that's kind of one of the cool things about Seabor is that it maps really, really well to JSON. So um, it was really easy to just um, spit it out as, uh, as a JSON document. Um, so that is kind of my demo. Um, here it is. And these are links to, to, the, to the image. Uh, and, and I can also um, obviously traverse this as I would um, Previously, with the with the image, or at least I thought I could. <laughs> uh, all right, maybe it's going to get that. Um, oh, it's not on my local node. Anyway, so that that's my demo. I've just got a really it's a really small PR open, uh, and it just uh, it just allows me to uh, uh, allows the gateway to serve Seabor DAG nodes. Uh, so that's kind of fun. Uh, go and check it out if you're interested. Thanks. Very nifty. <clears throat> See what I did there. Uh, good. Any questions about that? <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, yeah, that's all. That's all of our scheduled programming for today. 